SBR Videos is sponsored by Sports Cash System. Click on the link below for more information. Hi, welcome to SPR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are uh, previewing week 15 in the NFL, and uh, right now we're talking with Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. We're going to discuss the Green Bay-Dallas game for the second week in a row. We don't have a widely available number as of Friday afternoon on the Green Bay game, of course, because of the status of Aaron Rodgers. But we're just going to chat about it for a few minutes anyway. Joe Duffy, thanks for being back with us. Thank you, Peter. All right, before we chat about it, give a, give a five-second plug for your record at your website. Well, folks, it's we're over 60% for the year with a wise guy who plays college and pro football, putting in a gazillion hours for bowl season at offshoreinsiders.com. Okay, sounds good. Now, when we discussed this game last week, right, we didn't know the status of Aaron Rodgers, but I was like, look, since he went down, Green Bay has been 0-5 against the spread. So I said to you, maybe we just wait. If, if Rodgers is out again, bet against them. Rodgers was out again. Green Bay did wind up getting the win, but they didn't get the cover. Now they're 0-6 against the spread since Rodgers went down. Maybe we do the same thing here. If he's in, bet on them. If he's out, bet against them. Well, right before we did our airtime, according to Pro Football Talk, he has been officially ruled out for this game. A okay. surprise to nobody, but the Sharps wanted, to, wanted it to be official. I, I would agree with you. I mean, anybody, you can talk all you want about offensive linemen and defense, and that's extremely important. But I handicap quarterbacks first and foremost, and then skilled position players. And I know that most people I've talked to think that there's about a 10-point drop-off from Aaron Rodgers and the cast of nobodies that have played behind him, including Matt Flynn, who's, who's pretty much a stiff. But in addition to that, Tony Romo has been, at, what do we like to say, consistently inconsistent, looked atrocious, absolutely yeah. atrocious. Well, the Cowboys themselves. Really, it wasn't so much Romo. The Cowboys themselves looked atrocious on Monday night, but the Cowboys have a long history looking great. One week terrible, the next week, and vice versa. In fact, they're 4-1 straight up and against the spread off of a straight-up loss this year. This is the situation where the Cowboys consistently bounce back from. And again, Matt Flynn is, a, is terrible. <laughs> so I would agree with you that I do think the Cowboys are going to win this game by two touchdowns. Uh, but here's, here's what makes me nervous. You're right. Okay, so if Rodgers is out, Dallas is at home. That means Dallas is going to be a big favorite. And, you know, betting against Dallas when they're a big home favorite is always something I like to do. Betting on Dallas when they're a big home favorite is something I almost never do. Yeah, I think they're going to be seven to seven and a half point favor. Right. But in this situation, no, this is where they usually do bounce right, back big right. time. And this year's been a little different than most years. The Cowboys, since they moved into the Jerry Dome, had been a better road team than a home team. But all of a sudden, they're finally getting that home field advantage this year. Now, I do think it is a good spot. But you're right. In the classic predictably unpredictable situation, you want the, the team that you're betting on to be the underdog. So it's not an all-time classic, you know, as we like to say, the box of chocolates type game. Right. I wish the Dallas had beaten the Bears on Monday night. And then they came in here and were like a 10 point home favorite then I'd take uh, Green Bay for sure but uh, all right yeah it's definitely a bounce back spot for Dallas and we know what Green Bay's record is without Aaron Rodgers 0 and 6 against the spread since he went down unbelievable all right thanks so much for your thoughts on this game Joe Duffy